So this is Dr. Scott Geller. It is the end of July, 2021. We are here in Fort Myers, Florida, where I do laser surgery on eye floaters. And my experience goes way beyond 20,000 laser sessions, maybe not as many patients, but I've been doing this for a few decades now. And I get very interesting patients. And I'm gonna interview a great patient from Lakeland, Florida, because uh, I think other people need to hear what patients say, not so much about floaters, but you have to be a detective to be the greatest doctor, right? Right. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, let me give a little bit of uh, the patient history. You're 66 now. You've been in reasonably good health, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, and about 20 years ago, you were diagnosed with what's called rod cone dystrophy. Now, this is a retinal inherited, uh, I, I guess we call, call it a degeneration of the rods and cones. So your central vision is, is pretty much gone, but you do have some side vision, which is why you're looking at me with more or less your peripheral vision right now, correct? Yes, sir. Now, you had this phenomenon start, which you were told was floaters or, or you told them you thought it was eye floaters? I told them I thought it was floaters, but that's what everybody seems to think it was because of the way that... Was everybody other other people that people, you knew or yes, doctors? Just people that I know that said they had sort of had the same thing, but they thought when they would tell me that, they, they just would have one or two little floaters where I had dozens at the same time. Yeah. So so this started about... You were diagnosed by the, with the rod cone dystrophy. Hold on one second, please. I got the decline of phone call that was coming in here. You were uh, diagnosed by uh, a prominent uh, specialist, Dr. Pavin, in, at the university in Tampa. And that was 20 years ago, but you started to have this phenomenon about 10 years ago, you say? Yes, sir. And could you describe it? Uh, describe it for the people watching. It's like a bright, bright, bright laser light, like somebody's shooting a laser beam in your eye, and they usually will start at each corner of your eye, and I get them in both eyes, and they'll break off, and they'll sort of join together in the middle, and then they'll sort of turn little somersaults all around. Then they break off into eight to ten pieces and just go all around the eye, and then that might last for ten seconds. They'll disappear, and sometimes they'll come right back within minutes. Sometimes it might be 30 minutes before they come back, but it's constant with me. I get those probably 25 to 30 times a day. Uh, on a bad day, sometimes 50, 60 times a day. Okay, and there's a phenomenon we call ocular migraine, which is not a migraine headache, but it's a visual phenomenon where you get a little enlarging spot in the periphery and sometimes it scintillates or has a color fringe or it's like looking through a road mirage. Uh, sometimes that befuddles a lot of doctors and patients as well. But this doesn't sound exactly like that. Uh, you had a, a, I guess, prominent retinal specialist and after a number of years, uh, he said, well, let's do a vitrectomy, which you had about six, not quite six months ago uh, in the right eye. but you didn't notice any change, correct? Yes, sir, correct. No change whatsoever. No change whatsoever. So uh, the vitrectomy, uh, I assume it was for the same degree of floaters I see in your left eye. And by the way, uh, for all the listeners out there, I did examine the left eye very closely. He does have what I would consider significant floaters that would be worthy of lasering in certain patients uh, or patients that were complaining. But what you are describing is not eye floaters. And I bet that if you went, went to some other doctors, uh, perhaps they would say, well, yeah, sure, maybe it's floaters, but it's not. And uh, I, you came to me for potential laser, but laser is not what will work with this. This is a variation, in my opinion, of what's called visual snow. And it's an optical aberration. Its, a, its origin is in the central nervous system. It could be partially in the, in the periphery of the eye or the, 
the uh, nucleus of the optic nerve where vision impulses are more or less distributed uh, in the brain, right side, left side, occipital part of the brain does a lot of our visual interpretation. The temporal lobe does a lot of form interpretation, uh, but you don't ha we don't know exactly what it is. And I don't think it needs to be investigated too much further, but I do think it's important for other doctors uh, to hear about this stuff because I can't say the vitrectomy was totally unnecessarily. It might have been a last-ditch effort, but uh, unfortunately that didn't get you where you want to be. And I wish I could do laser, but that won't get you where, where we want you to be either. Anyway, you're a great patient. I hope this little interview helps other patients, perhaps, and other doctors more than the patients, uh, so they can get to the uh, correct diagnosis. Thank you so much.